Hi, you guys. Hi. Welcome, welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. I am just a little late, and I apologize. Circumstances always happen. But I'm here. So, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.08 p.m. Eight minutes late. Sorry. Thanks. Stop. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, today is Educational Tuesday. So, I found this book that you'll understand when I show you who it is. Judge Judy Shenlin, Judge Judy, win or lose by how you choose. Win or lose by how you choose. It's a question book. I'm gonna ask you questions and you can discuss this with one of your parents or one of your peers on how to answer it. I may or may not elaborate on what the answer could, what different answers could be. I didn't read the whole book. I read some of it. So some of these can have many different answers to it. So I'm going to read these, these questions. Let me give you an example on this educational Tuesday. Win or lose by how you choose. Judge Judy Shinelins, Shinelins, Judge Judy's book. One of the questions, for example, is you just got your ice cream from the ice cream man, but he was so busy that he forgot to take your money. Hmm. You should what? You should do what? Hmm. The choices are A, put the money back in your pocket and just eat your ice cream. B, get his attention and tell him that you didn't pay yet. C, eat your ice cream fast and tell him you never got it. Or D, Tell him you gave him a $5 bill and you didn't get your change back. What should you do? Hmm. Questions like this on Judge in Judge Judy's book. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> now, I think you guys know the answer to this one. Do I really need to, to go over it with you? I think that you should get his attention. B, get his attention and tell him that you didn't pay yet. And then pay the guy. Because you guys wouldn't want somebody to cheat you out of your money either, right? Treat people like how you want to be treated. So now, let's get to this book. Let's get to reading this book. Let's read this book. Win or lose by how you choose. Let's see. It has notes to parents and notes a note to kids. To the parents. Where do children learn to be good people? Who teaches a child honesty, kindness, fairness, and loyalty? As parents, you have the uni unique opportunity to fashion the characters of your kids, and this book will be a useful tool. In this book, I ask children questions about situations that they face every day. With each question, I give them a series of answers to choose from, but I don't tell them the right answer. This way, you, the parents, can explore and evaluate the different choices together with your child. I encourage you to use this book in your ongoing dialogue with your children to teach them that the choices that they make will determine the adults that they become. That's right. Now, the note to the kids. You are, being, you are beginning what I like to call the adventure of life. How do you choose to live your life or however you choose to live your life will make you a happy or unhappy adult. You will always be faced with choices, dozens every day. I hope this book will make you think of how to make the right choices to be a happy person and to live a happy life. You just got your ice cream from the ice cream man you guys listening? You just got your ice cream from the ice cream man and that was the first question that I asked you in the back. All right, so we won't even go to that one again. Now, this is the second question. You borrowed your friend's bike and accidentally broke it. What do you do? What do you do? We have four answers that may or may not be right. You should A, Tell her you had an accident and you will pay to have her bike fixed. Or B, let me do sign language, A, B, C, or D. 
So A, you should tell her you had an accident and you will pay to have her bike fixed. Or B, tell her you didn't realize that her, back was, her bike was broken. C, blame it on one of your other friends. Or D, try to convince her that her bike was broken when she lent it to you. What's the right thing, you guys? A, B, C, or D? Hmm, I'm going to tell you what I would do. I would tell her, A, I would tell her that I had an accident and I'll pay to have her bike fixed because that is the right thing to do. All right. So after I read the questions, parents, you can pause this video and you can discuss it with your child. Okay, discuss it with your child before you get my answers out. Okay, you as a parent may not agree with my answers, so... You can pause it and discuss it with your child. Now, you're sitting in a doctor's waiting room reading a magazine. There's something in the magazine that you would like to tear out. You should, A, remember what magazine you're reading and buy it yourself. Or B, ask the receptionist if you can tear it out. C, not ask and just tear it out. Or D, not tear it out and take the whole magazine. A, B, C, or D. Which one? Pause. All right. All right, all right, all right. To me, there's a couple of answers that could be correct. You can either remember what magazine you're reading and you can buy it yourself. That's a good one. Or you can ask the receptionist if you can tear it out. You can also ask the receptionist if you can keep the whole magazine because sometimes they want to get rid of the old and bring in the new. So I would not do C. I would not not ask and just tear it out. I wouldn't take the whole magazine without permission. That's called what? That's right, stealing. That's right. So now the next question saying hi to all my people on here. The person in front of you at the store, check out, walked away and left some items. You should what? A, mind your own business and just leave them there. B, tell the cashier that someone left her items. C, call her back and tell her she forgot some items. Or D, Throw the items in one of your bags since they've already been paid for. Pause the video now. <laughs> okay, there's a couple of answers here that I think would be correct. You as a parent can discuss with your child. Pause it and discuss with your child what you think is the best answer. You could just mind your own business and leave them there because sometimes people get upset when you interfere. So it also, it just depends on the situation. B, you could tell the cashier that someone left her items and that's probably what I would do. I would probably just tell the cashier or if that person is still, is still there, I would call them back and say, Miss, you forgot your, some of your items. I've done that before in the past. So this, each situation is different. Like if the person has already left, you can tell the cashier because most likely that person will come back for them, right? Right, all right, all right. Next question. You pick up the phone and accidentally hear your sister talking to her boyfriend. <laughs> you should A, hang up the phone. B, say hello as if you thought the call was for you. C, just listen very quietly. Or D, hum into the phone until it gets on their nerves. <laughs> well, that's what siblings do, right? <laughs> that's what they do. But I think the, the best answer would be A. Hang up the phone. Mind your business. Although it's really fun to mess with your siblings and just hum and just bother them. It is fun, but don't do that. Hang up the phone. A. All right. <laughs> All of your friends are smoking. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. I don't know what kind of friends they have, but uh, I, I don't know. All of your friends are smoking. They're making fun of you because you are not. You should A. Not listen to them and forget about smoking. B. Make believe you smoke so that they stop bothering you. you just act like you're smoking. C. Ask one of them for a cigarette. Or D. Go buy a pack of cigarettes to be one of the guys. You can pause it right now. All right. I would say the answer is A. Not listen to them and forget about smoking. Me, I'm one of those people that did not smoke. Not one time in my life. I didn't listen to my friends when they tried to pressure me to smoke. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to be addicted. I didn't want to. I can't even stand the smell of it. I'm allergic to the smell of it. So, no. Wouldn't do it. Okay. Next question. You notice that the desk next to you where your good friend sits has been empty for three days. You should A. Ask your teacher where she is. B. Call her on the phone and ask her where she's been. C. Not bother calling because it's too much trouble. Or D. Go through her desk to see if there's anything in there that you can use. You can pause this video right now if you like. Well, it could be either A or B. You can either ask your teacher where she is, but me, since it's my friend, my good friend, I would call her on the phone. That's B. I would call her on the phone and ask, where you been? What's up? You okay? I've done that too. Yeah. Next question. You were visiting your friend and your dog had an accident on the floor in his living room. <laughs> you should A, clean it up and apologize. B, tell your friends about it. Your friend whose house it is. C, move a chair over it so that it can't be seen. Or D, take your dog and leave without saying anything. Y'all know. Y'all don't even have to pause this video right now. Clean it up and apologize. You don't leave your dog's poo in someone's house and try to cover it up or just leave and not say anything. Clean it up, you guys. This is a long book. Maybe I should go a little faster. I don't know if you guys are enjoying this, the questions and stuff, questions and answers, but I'm going to try to finish it. If not, I'll have to do a part two. Now, next question. You're standing in line at the store checkout and you see it's going to be a long wait. You should, what should you do? A, A, I'm doing sign language, you guys, A, B, C, or D. Those are our choices. So A, be patient and wait your turn. A, B, leave with your item and come back later to pay for it. C, take your item and leave without ever paying. Or D, cut to the front of the line and act like you were there first. All right, you guys. A, be patient and wait your turn. You know that already. Next question. You are home alone and someone knocks on the door. You should A, not answer the door. B, ask who it is and open the door only if you know him or her. C, tell the person to come back when an adult is home. Or D, open the door. Now I will say, I was a child protective specialist. And if you opened the door when I came, I would have to take you. I would have to remove you. I would have to remove you from your parents' house because you opened the door and you put yourself at risk. Parents, if, if you're young enough to do that, open the door and your parents left you home alone, you have to be taken from the home. Safety is an issue. Now, if you're older, if you're a teenager and you're older, what do you do? You can ask who it is and only open the door if you know him or her because these answers right here really can matter depending on your age. So, if you're young, 11 and under, or I'd say 12 and under, 
Don't open the door. Stay away from the door. If you're a teen, 13 and up, you may be able to ask who it is if you're old enough, if you're mature enough, if you know what to do, and if you know that person. You can look through the little peephole. Right? All right. Discuss this answer with your parents. Okay? Because they make that decision. All right, all right. Now, next question. An elderly woman is trying to get in the elevator and she's carrying a lot of packages. You should, A, ask if you can help her with the packages. B, just hold the door for her. C, rush into the elevator and press the close button so she won't slow you down. Or D, get in first and if she makes it, she makes it. Come on now, you guys. I know you know the right answer. Answer would be A. Ask if you can help her with the packages. Sometimes, depending on the expression on their face, they look mean or scary. I would probably just be, just be, hold the door for her. I don't want to upset anybody else. <laughs> but again, discuss this with your parents and um, let your parents talk to you about what the best answer would be. Okay. Next question. Your friend loaned you a dollar and now he wants you to pay him back. You should A. Put off paying him as long as possible. B. Pay him the money that you owe him. C. Tell him that another friend owes you a dollar so he should get the money from her. Or D. Tell him that you don't remember borrowing any money. D is so not nice. That's not nice. I believe the answer would be B. Pay him the money that you owe him. Yes. Think of it as if you lent somebody money and you wanted your money back. You would want it back. And there it is. Next question. You arrive at your friend's birthday party and realize that you forgot to bring a present. You should A. Tell your friend that you are embarrassed and you will be sending her a gift. B. Tell her you bought a present but it got lost in her house. C. Sign your name on somebody else's present. Or D. Eat as much as you can and sneak out early. <laughs> You guys, come on now. I know you know the right answer to this. I would say A, tell your friend that you are embarrassed and you will be sending her a gift. You're embarrassed because you forgot to buy her a gift. There's nothing wrong with that, you guys. All right, all right, all right. Next question. You're sitting at the lunch counter having a soda. The person next to you finishes eating, leaves a big tip and walks away. You should A, Keep drinking your soda and forget about the tip. B, tell the waitress that the man left her some money. C, slide the money over to your side when nobody's looking so it would look as if you left the tip. Or D, take the money and use it to pay for your soda. Come on, come on. Come on, come on now. Y'all know the answer to that. You could either keep drinking your soda and forget about the tip or that's A or B. Tell the waitress that the man left her some money. Either one is fine. But again, discuss this with your parent. Get the best answer from your parent. Next question. You're dying to have another piece of cake and your friend is so busy dancing that she's not eating hers. This lemon cake, she's in trouble. You should A. Keep your hands off of it, she'll be right back. B, ask the waiter to bring you another piece. C, take a small piece, she'll never know the difference. Or D, eat the whole thing and tell her the waiter took it. <laughs> if it's my friend, I don't know if it's lemon cake, I don't know, I might just eat it. But the best answer would be, there's two that I would probably think about. A, keep your hands off of it so she'll right, be right back. Or B, 
Ask the waiter to bring you another piece if you really want another piece. That's what you do. Okay. Okay. Next question. With, your room is a mess and really has to be cleaned up. You should A. Start cleaning it up a little at a time. B. Spend an entire day cleaning up your room. C. Put it off to do some other day. Or D. Forget about it. Your mother will take care of it. Now. <laughs> don't forget about it. Your mother's going to scream at you. <laughs> your mama's going to scream at you. What you guys think? I think it could be either A or B. I think you can start cleaning it up a little bit at a time. Because you got schoolwork, right? You got schoolwork. You got other things. Your parents may have had plans already. Or if you have a whole day like Sunday, B would be a good answer. Spending the entire day cleaning up your room. The entire day. Because you have the time. Yes. If it's a weekday and you don't have the time, you got to do it a little, bit, little at a time. But again... Discuss this answer with your parents because your parents know best. They know what's best for you. Next question. Your father left his car keys in the ignition. Oh boy. Oh boy. You should tell your father about the keys right away. That's A. B. Take the keys out of the ignition and give them to your father. C. Turn on the motor just to see what it feels like. Or D, drive the car around the block a couple of times. <laughs> don't, guys, don't you dare do that. Don't do that. Don't drive the car around a couple of times. I think the best answer is A. Tell your father about the keys right away. Again, discuss it with your parents. Pretty sure they'll agree with me on this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as... Depending on your age, take the keys out and give them to your father. Because if you're too young, while you're trying to take the keys out, you might hit something else. And put it out of gear and start in neutral and start rolling back into the street. So tell your father about the keys right away. My advice. Just my advice. Just my opinion. But again, ask your parents the best thing for you. Next question. A boy in your class just walked out of the bathroom with his fly opened. You should A. Go over and whisper in his ear so that he knows. B. Yell to him across the room that his fly is open. Kind of embarrassing, right? C. Introduce him to some girls who are walking by. L or D. Suggest that now would be a good time to get up in front of the class and speak. Come on, you guys. Go over and whisper, A. Eh? Go over and whisper in his ear so that he knows and he, no one gets embarrassed. You don't like embarrassing people. Okay, okay. Next question. You're picking up the mail and see that your brother received a letter marked personal. Hmm. You should, A, give the letter to your brother. My, my, my doll just fell. Give the letter to your brother. B. Hold it up to the light to see what it says. C. Open it up and read it. Or D. Bring the letter to the park and read it to your friends. Mm -hmm. Now think about if it was your letter and somebody else got it. Your, your brother got it. What would you want to happen? Think about that. It says personal. So it's only for that person. So... A, give the letter to your brother. Discuss it with your parent. You'll probably agree. Hmm. Now, next question. You find a handgun in your father's closet. Now, this is important. You find a handgun in your father's closet. You should, A, not touch it ever because it's off limits. B, Ask your father to show it to you. C. Pick it up to see how heavy it is. Or D. Borrow it to show your friends. Really, you guys. 
please do not try C or D. Pick it up to see how heavy it is? No, no. D, borrow it to show your friends? No, no. A, not touch it ever because it's off limits. Now, if you are older, B would be okay. Ask your father to show it to you, okay? Also, again, I say, check with your parents for the best answer for you. All right, all right. Ask your parents. Next question. Your friend wants you to give him your homework. You should, A, not give it to him and tell him why he should do it himself. B, offer to help him get his done. C, let him look at it for a few minutes and then take it back. Or D, give it to him because he is really a good friend and would do the same for you. Think about this, guys. Homework. You spent your hard, you did hard work on this thing. You spent your time working on this thing really hard. You want to just give your homework up to somebody? Not me, I don't know. Not me, I don't know. I think there could be two answers. A, not give it to him and tell him why he should do it himself because he needs to learn it. It might be on the test. Doing it yourself helps you remember. Or B, you could offer to help him get it done. I think that would be okay. But again, talk to your parents about this and see what's best for you. All right, discuss it with your parents. All right, all right, all right. Next question. You didn't wipe your shoes when you came in and you tracked mud all over the carpet. Woo, you should A, clean it up, B, Tell your mother what you did and ask her to help you clean it up. C, not say anything about it. Or D, yell out, hey, look what somebody did. <laughs> well, depending on your age, I think there's two different answers. You're older. If you're a teenager, you're older. Clean it up. A, clean it up. Now, if you're younger, you're smaller, you can't clean it by yourself. Then B. Tell your mother what you did and ask her to help you clean it up. But again, discuss this with your parent for your correct answer. That's right. Next question. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. Let me know if you guys are having fun. All right. Mom always lets you have an extra lamb chop. Tonight your sister invited her friend for dinner. You should start screaming. This is A. Start screaming that the extra lamb chop is yours and it's not right that your sister invited a friend. <laughs> B, distract everybody and when no one is looking, take your father's lamb chop. <laughs> That's funny. C, forget about it and try to make her feel at home. Or D, sneak into the kitchen and eat the lamb chop before dinner is on the table. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I think, this may just be my own opinion, I think C, forget about it and try to make her feel at home. Try to make her feel at home. That's the best answer, in my opinion. Again, you can talk to your parents about this one. Your neighbors are complaining that your TV is very loud and it is keeping them up. You should, A, Tell them you don't know what they are talking about. B, apologize and lower the volume so that they can sleep. C, not pay attention to them. Or D, make it louder because your neighbors are screaming and you can't hear the TV. I'm so done. <laughs> My neighbors are screaming, I can't hear the TV so I'm gonna turn it up louder. Come on you guys, what should you do? B, being a good neighbor is important. Being a good person is important. Apologize and lower the volume so that they can sleep. What do you guys think? What if you were trying to go to sleep? Always think about it. If you were that other person and you were trying to sleep or you were trying to study and somebody else had their music loud, you got to think about things like that. That's called empathy. You put yourself in the other person's place, right? 
see how they would feel. So you do the best thing possible, in my opinion, it would be B. Apologize and lower the volume so they can sleep. Yes. Next question. A fight breaks out at school. Uh-oh. You should round up all your friends and tell them something exciting is going on. B. That was A. B. Tell a teacher as soon as you can. C. Enjoy watching the fight and feel good that you aren't involved. Or D. Take bets. I'm going to add another one. There's A, there was B, there was C, and there was D. How about E? Pull out your phone and start recording. See my face? That's sarcasm. Don't do that, you guys. Don't. Please, please, please. B, tell a teacher as soon as you can. Tell a teacher. That fight can get out of control and more people can get hurt. It's very dangerous. Please run and tell the teacher. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Now, next question. Your friends offer you a ride to the game in his old smelly car. You would rather go in your father's brand new fancy car. You should. A. Tell your friend you promised your father you would go with him. B. Ask your friend if he would like to come with you in your father's car. C. Tell your friend that you get car sick when you ride in old cars. Or D. Tell your friend you wouldn't be caught dead in his car. <laughs> come on, you guys. Come on, be nice. Ask him, come on, be. Ask him if he would like to come with you in your father's car. Isn't that a nice thing to do? But then again, some people know their parents and they know not to ask. Not, no, I ain't going to ask him. So then, you know, talk to your parents about this one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the test answer sheet falls out of your teacher's bag. The test answer sheet falls out your teacher's bag. Oh, boy. You should, A, tell the teacher that she dropped it. B, ignore what you saw and just walk away. C, pick it up and read it. Or D, Pick it up and share the answers with your friends. Cheating is never the way to go. Never. Never. So, ignore what you saw and just walk away? No, no, no. Somebody else will pick it up and cheat. How about you just do A. Tell the teacher that she dropped it. Be honest. Thank you, thank you. Please be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Next question. Some birds have built a nest in the tree in front of your house. Your two friends are throwing rocks at the nest. You should, A, run outside and start throwing rocks back at them. B, tell them to stop what they're doing because they are going to hurt the birds. C, threaten to go call their parents. Or D, Run outside and climb up the tree to see if you can protect the birds. All right, all right, all right. I think the answer is B. What do you guys think? Yes. Tell them to stop what they're doing because they're going to hurt the birds. We don't want to hurt the birds. No, no, no. You guys got more time? I can continue doing this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Glad you guys are having fun. Next question. You're playing basketball with some kids. Your friend accidentally wets his pants and wants to run home. He asks you not to tell anyone. But when he leaves, the team captain wants to know where he went. You should, A, tell the captain as loud as you can to make sure that everybody hears that your friend wet his pants. B, Tell your friend that you won't help him out and laugh at him. C. Tell the captain that he had a personal problem and he will be right back. That's C. Or D. Tell the captain that you have no idea where he went. Personally, I think it would be C. C. 
see. Tell the captain that he had a personal problem and he'll be right back. You don't want to put his business out there. You don't want to embarrass your friend. The word friend. He is your friend. Don't embarrass him. All right. Next question. Your friends begin to make fun of your new neighbor because she has big ears. Well, um, that, that would be me, right? You should see when I have the mask on, the ears stick out even more. So your friends begin to make fun of your new neighbor because she has big ears. You should, A, walk away from your friends and say nothing. B, tell them to stop because it's unkind. C, suggest to your new neighbor that she wear a hat to cover her ears. Or D, make fun of her too. I know you guys know the best answer to this. Tell them to stop because that's being unkind. Yes. Next question. Your best friend tells you a secret. Someone gave him a drug to try. You should A. Insist that he tell his parents. B. Tell him to throw it away and that both of you should stay away from the person who gave it to him, who gave him that drug. C. Tell him that a lot of kids are using this stuff, so there might be something to it. Or D. Tell him it couldn't hurt to try it just once. I would say, A. Insist that he tell his parents. And then B is a good answer too. Tell him to throw it away and that both of you should stay away from the person who gave him the drug. I think it's both A and B. That's just my opinion. But please, please, please ask your parents so you can get the right answer that's right for you. You are late to class. You should A, tell your teacher that you forgot today was a school day. B, cut class because you're late anyway. C, forge an excuse note from your parent. Or D, Apologize to your teacher and promise to be on time in the future. What is this? This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. And I think this one is the best answer. Apologize to your teacher and promise to be on time in the future. What you think? What you think? I haven't been showing you the pictures in this book. I'm sorry. Pictures are kind of just black and white anyway. I'm sorry. I usually show you the pictures. I was having so much fun with the questions. Next question. You promised your mother you would do your homework, but your friends are waiting for you to come out and play ball. You should A. Sneak out the window. Nobody will know. B. Nag your mother until she lets you out just to get rid of you. C. Rush through your homework so that you can go out. Or D. Tell your friends you can't go. This, this one, this one, this one, you guys may not agree with my answers. Of course, the correct answer is D, tell your friends you can't go. But reality hits, reality, C, rush through your homework so that you can go out. <laughs> I know that that's what you guys are going to do. That's what I used to do. Rush through your homework, but make sure you read it and your homework is done correctly. So I wouldn't say rush through it exactly. Get your homework done carefully, and then you can go out. How about that? How about that? Okay. But again, talk to your parents about that answer. Next question. You accidentally throw a ball through the classroom window. You should A, tell the teacher that you have no idea how it happened. B. Demand a cash payment for damage to your ball. C. Tell the teacher that you were responsible. Or D. Blame it on the nearest little kid. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Come on, guys, you know. Just tell the teacher that you, respons you were responsible for doing it and that you're sorry. 
All right. Right, all right, all right. Judge Judy, Judge Judy. Yeah. Next question. It's your dad's birthday and the family is going out for dinner, but your favorite program is on. Oh, boy. You should, A, try to get them to wait. B, tape it so that you can watch it later and go cheerfully to dinner. C, ask your mother if she can bring you back something to eat. Or D, go to dinner, but sulk through the whole meal. Wow. Well, from A, B, C, and D, the best answer to me would be tape it so that you can watch it later and go cheerfully to dinner. However, not all people have access of taping these things. So, it's your father's birthday, right? Go to dinner and don't worry about that. You can see the rerun. You can see it later. You can pull it up somewhere else, somehow, some way. This is your father's birthday. Go, go, go. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Next question. Your classmate is, copy is copying from your paper during a test in school. You should, A, cover your paper. B, tell them to stop. C, tell the teacher. Or D, let him copy from you because he can't pass the test otherwise. Oh boy. What you guys think? Hmm. You can cover your paper and you can tell him to stop and you can tell the teacher. However, if you tell him to stop, you can get caught talking. And the teacher will think that you were giving him the answers or you will cheat. You were cheating. So personally, I think the best answer would be to A. Cover your paper. Don't make it look like, oh, I'm just hiding it from you. Just, you know, kind of do it like, you know, um, let me just, don't make it look like you're just doing it on purpose because you'll hurt his feelings or whatever. Probably say something to you later, but cover your paper, please. Also discuss that with your parent. Oh, the end. That was it. The end. Let me show you the, the last picture. All right, all right, all right. That was the end of the book. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me read this uh, Win or Lose by How You Choose book. It's a Judge Judy book. I thought it was a very good book. And on this Educational Tuesday here at Audrey's Reading Area, I thought that was a good book. You guys can listen and learn. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and listening to this whole book. Please don't forget, hit subscribe. Please don't forget, that's on YouTube, that is. Don't, don't forget to like and share. Like and share. Thank you guys so much. I really, 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 I get so excited when it's time to read to you guys. So that's, that, that's the excitement you see right now. But please, please, please go onto YouTube and hit subscribe and encourage people to do so too. Because I really, really, really enjoy reading these books to you. Thank you guys and I will see you again tomorrow live. L-I-V-E. Live at 5 tomorrow. Orgy's reading area. See you soon.